Look at this, you know you're in the deep dark wilderness and people are abandoning their babies in trees as sacrifices to coyotes in order to survive. So just driving up towards Muscadabit Harbor uh, to do the Admiral Lake Loop, which is located just north of the town, off the Muscadaba Trailway. There's the trailhead right there. We want to go up a bit and go clockwise. So we're going to go keep going up past the lake, pick up the trail up there, come along this way, and finish. And that's what we'll do. We're going to go around clockwise. It is a pooper. It is a pooper. Going to go uh, check that out for research purposes. Yeah, that's it. See why it's difficult. It's a bit of a rough start. Too oh, old and fat for this. Well, let's go look at the first look off. This is Jesse's Dinah. Definitely slippery. Well, it looks like a trail, kind of. Here's the trail junction for the South Granite Ridge Trail and the Admiral Lake Loop Trail. We're going up that way. South Granite Trail that way. It's interesting, they're all using yellow, yellow flags, I wonder why. Seems weird, but what else? So if you like lichen, this trail is like a 10 out of 10 for mosses and stuff. That's just crazy. Yeah, moss and lichen enthusiasts will be going crazy back here. There's some more. Like an old man's beard. Trail is so fucky, I love it. Look at this. Eunice Lake, apparently. It's Eunice Lake. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural in the slightest that. Thanks for the stairway, boys. So going is slow. Have to really watch out for rocks. It's gotten better in the last couple hundred feet since coming up from the lake. Yeah, the trail's right civilized right here. This is great. More 
awesome varied moss and lichen. The only thing that's not out yet is the mushrooms, and they'll be out soon. A couple more weeks of warm weather. This place will be as fungusy as it is mossy, I'm guessing. Coming to another look off after a bit of a climb. Admiral Lake look off. I think it'll take five minutes here. So that there is Admiral Lake, I'm guessing. But the little islands down there. Your ways up here. See, I've come about to two kilometers in the last hour. I figure there's about two more hours to go. Because I've been a lazy sack all winter, I'm definitely going to be cramping up tonight. <laughs> place puts uh, pulls it off pretty good. Look at that. I love green. I love moss. Huh. I'll be bounced. Of being a fat man, I gotta take my pack off. Other downside of being a fat man, easy to get stuck. Alright, this just elevated the game of this place. That was fun. You know if you go up around there if you want. That was really cool. That was a cave. It's like an amusement park thing, man. It, it's not hard, but it looks like it could be, so that's pretty cool. Really good job ripping it through there. Yeah, this trail's a good trail. Oh yeah, we're continuing up towards the top of this hill. But up and down on this trail, it's a really good little workout. Great lichen. Look at that stuff. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, no good view though. It's a cool little ridge. Good old slippy granite. That way, I'm going to the Harbor Lookoff. Down there, another 1.76 kilometers to the end of the Admiral Lake Loop, and we'll probably do an extra half on whatever it is up to uh, Skull Rock Lookoff. I expect it'll be windier and up here. There's where we come from down that way. Where we started from. Right, that was a beautiful look off of that is a brutal wind coming off of there. You can see some of the some of the declines before you escape. on this trail is up to that lookout and back out because the uh, ground is quite deteriorated down here on this lower last kilometer. Life will find a way. <laughs> well, it found a way.
Go rock up top. Just saw a herd of about 20 really old people go by. Some kind of organized walk. Uh, God bless them for doing that at 6570. A few oldies in that crew, and they're gonna get around just fine. So that's where I came up, or came down from, up that way. Heading out that way. It won't take long now to get to the trailway. So I'm kind of curious how those 70 year olds did that. So final thoughts on this trail. It's a, it's a bit like coconut. It's hard on the outside, but soft and sweet and satisfying in the middle. So uh, once you get about a kilometer in, things, a kilometer and a half in, thing on either end, things ease up a bit. The uh, far side is way better shaped than this here front side though. Way, a whole lot more people walk this way. Alright, that's the end of her. It's a great little hike. Enjoyed that a lot.